All right, we are back and we are going to color in our digital self portraits. Let's go back into the sketchbook app. Sometimes it's down here. If you have used it recently, if not, you just need to find it in here. So remember it's a pencil and it has an orange background. So let's click on it. If it's something different here, if it's not your picture, what we're going to do is we're going to click this little icon here that looks like a list. We're going to go to gallery, this one that looks like a picture hanging, and you should be able to find it in here. So you click on your art and it should pop up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we're on the layer of the drawing. Okay, so we're on that layer here. Zoom in and we're going to decide what we're going to do for skin color. So let's go to this color selector right here. Click on that. Now, any sort of browns or pinks, like a skin color, is gonna be somewhere in this range. Kind of like an orange to red, okay? So if you're more of a brown color, we're gonna look in the orange. And orange and black make some pretty good browns. So you see that color changing right up here? dark brown, medium brown, here's more of like a tan color. Some people are a little more red, like a little more pink in the skin. So you can kind of move that around and see what your color kind of looks like. Mine's a little more over here. And then we'll just click out of there. And you wanna go over here and select the bucket tool. Looks like a little bucket, you can see the handle. Click that. We're going to zoom in and we're going to click right on our face. Now I can tell from here that's a little too dark for me. So I'm going to reverse what I just did so I can change the color. I'm going to press this little back arrow. I'm going to go back into the color selector and I need to make it a little lighter for myself. There we go. I'm going to just click right back in the face. Still a little dark. You might find that you might make the skin too dark or too light and you can adjust at any time this one looks a little too gray maybe so just take a few minutes that one looks a little better take a few minutes and change that up now with the neck and the ears you want to make it just slightly darker than what you did for your face just a tiny bit like that do you see the difference between the two I just dragged it down just a tiny bit. I'm gonna go in my neck. Ooh, and if I do that, how can I fix that? I'll just go back. I must have clicked something out. You know what my, I know what I did. I didn't connect ooh, my ear all the way because it only fills in a closed space. So if you remember, I go back to this pen. I make sure that I'm not on the bucket anymore. I'm going to click here, make it black, and I'm going to connect that just to close it. Now let's see how it goes. And get out of here. Click on that bucket. There we go. That definitely fixed the problem. So you might encounter that. You might. I'm just going to have to do a little troubleshooting. So next I can go in with my other features like my eyebrows, my lips, and you're just going to go back here and you're going to select your color. So my eyebrows are a dark brown. There's my dark brown. I'm going to zoom in and make sure I get inside those eyebrows. My eyes are kind of a dark brown too, but not that dark. Maybe a little more like that. And see how it kind of went into this part of my eyeball? because I didn't connect the black here. So that's an easy fix, guys. I'm gonna reverse what I just did. I'm gonna go back here, make the color black, and make sure I'm not clicked on the bucket. Click out of that bucket. I'm gonna go in. You know what, while I have this up, I'm gonna go back and close off anything that I need to close. Let's see. See if I have some other stuff I need to close up, just in case. 
All right. Now I can go back to business. Click on the bucket. I'm going to go in with my color. And there we go for my eyes. Now my lips, kind of the same with the skin color. You just might be more in the red pink area, but you want to kind of go up. Yeah, it looks like it could be a good color for me. I also have a dark color kind of back here. It got a little dark. That looks about right. When I'm done with my face, I can go ahead with my hair. Make sure I get all my pieces. Huh, I wonder why it's doing this. Well, sometimes we just troubleshoot. Maybe I won't do that. Maybe I can try fixing it again with a pen. Or you could just move on and do something different. Now what I'm gonna do here is fix the color of my shirt. That still makes it part of the background. So what else can I do? Let's make that black. And let's see, maybe if I go over again. and outline like my shirt and my hair. Maybe that will help. All right, let's see if that fixed it. Take a shirt color, whatever you'd like. It could be the shirt that you're wearing. It could just be a color that you like. There you go. That works. I'm gonna take a little more brown. we go in and fill that just for my hair. All right, that's good for my face, my skin my hair and my clothes. Now I'm gonna show you how to do a galaxy. So we've been using the pen and the bucket tool. Let's do the spray paint. So the spray paint is one up from the pen. Looks like a shiny gold can. And that's gonna be spray paint. Now galaxy is blacks and purples and blues. So let's kind of stay in this range over here. So. I kind of made a navy blue. I can go in with that. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you. We need to make a new layer. So what we're gonna do, we'll go to our layer bar. Press the plus sign. This is gonna help our background stay in the background and not get all over our face, okay? Because if you see this, see how that kind of gets on your face? We don't want that to happen. So we go back, make sure we're on that here, and just spray paint right around your body in the background, all in that negative space. And the faster you move, the lighter it is, but the more you stay in an area, the darker that color gets. So you wanna have some dark areas and some light areas with your blue. I also said some purples. You can go in with some purple. You're going right around yourself. Remember, you could always zoom in to get those corners. Get right up to those edges. And lastly, we'll do black, so we can just drag that down and get some black in there. Now I want to do a few stars. I can go in with one of these paintbrush tools down here. And I want to go in with a white, so I drag that all the way up to get my white. And sometimes that helps. Sometimes you can go in with an eraser tool too. Just 
to make little marks. That works a little better for me, but see what works for you. Sometimes stars are in clusters. If you press a little harder, it gets more white. So there's my galaxy. And I want to make sure I save it, so I'm going to press that menu over here. I'm going to press gallery, and I'm going to press save current sketch. Now I've got a couple friends in my gallery here. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions, just let me know.